വെൽക്കം ടു യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ കഥബ് അക്കാഡമി ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ഒ ടി ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട് ദിസ് ടു ചാനൽസ് ഫോർ ദി യുവർ സെൽഫ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് വേരിയസ് ഫീൽഡ്സ് സോ വാച്ച് ദീസ് വീഡിയോസ് ആൻഡ് അപ്ഡേറ്റ് യുവർ സെൽഫ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ വീഡിയോ ഇസ് വെരി മച്ച് ഇസെൻഷ്യൽ ബെനിഫിഷ്യൽ ടു ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവറി എഞ്ചിനീയർ ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവറി പേഴ്സൺ ഹു വാണ്ട് ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് എ കരിയർ ഇൻ ദി എൻ്റർപ്രൈസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി industrial engineering which will have one of the concept of the engineering with economics dear friends day by day there is a technological advances you can see here various photos for automobiles is wheels cycles home appliances and other food products or any other products or industrial products there are number of advances in technology to manufacture this product or the in the product itself also dear friends this technological advances in machines also or also you can see here in picture this technological advances which will connect the industry through this cloud based system or by using this each and everything is connected in your hand with the help of this mobile you can do various things this is the technological advances there is a advances in machines also in materials also friends in computers and electronics also these has changed the job description of engineer rapidly very rapidly it has changed but engineering economics how it will help guide to engineer to understand the optimal cost effectiveness on product or process under consideration for this purpose we have to understood first what is engineering after that economy economics what is engineering economics and what is engineering economy these five words i have told you now see one by one before going to this engineering on international level the abet a b e t is the accreditation board for engineering and technology this abet accreditation is a assurance that a college or university program meets a quality standards set or established by the profession for which it prepares for the students suppose a mechanical engineer they have to work in mechanical industry or the any engineer which are to work in the industry according to that profession they have to set the or teach to the students in that education institute for example an accredited engineering program must meet the that quality standard set by the engineering profession this engineering professions what are the standards are required according to that the college or university program this is the program accreditation this body is international body which will decide that they have set this all the standards but what about in india in india the washington accord international body this is parallel to this abet abet actually or in uh, various universities in uk in us sorry us there is a various in the, uh, universities and colleges are there they are under the abet in uk the washington accord is there according to washington accord in india the nba national board of accreditation which will follow this, this uh, whatever the standards or the procedure decided by this washington accord for what purpose to set the quality standards of the program not a college for a program and for the engineering professions so friends what is engineering defined by the abet abet has defined this engineering as the profession in which the knowledge gained in physics or in chemistry or life sciences and the mathematics is applied to make products in large that increase the prosperity of man
so this is the engineering definition by the abet dear friends now see science is the field of study where basic principles of different physical systems you can watch in this video that train is moving but some principles that will work here is the energy which will convert energy into this uh, heat, heat is generated and this uh, this boiler that generate the steam the steam power is converted into the heat energy power is converted into mechanical energy and that train will run these are the principles this physical system like this number of examples are there these physical systems are formulated and tested for the and this is nothing but the science okay and it establishes very apply application systems based on the different scientific principles already we have seen one example see this how this diesel electric locomotive work there is some principle the diesel engine fuel will burn and that will generate the power and that power is converted into electric power and electric power is converted into this mechanical power that energy that will move the this wheels so this is the principles okay so this this is the working of the principle what is about the price price has a major role in deciding the demand and supply of a product why i am coming to this price because we are going to study this engineering economy here last is the price required according to demand and supply of a product now friends this demand supply is depend on this how the work is going on what is the requirement of the customer according to that product is developed and supplied to the to the, that particular customer dear friends what is economy then economy consists of a sum of all incomes from these various industries who will manufacture the goods or produces the goods or given the services to the customers which will offer you know various sectors this in a state the sum of all the incomes of this kind of the resources or industries or enterprises what are the income they have addition of all the income in the state or in nation it deals with the interaction between these people and the wealth okay so this is the number the economy economy what is economics then economics is very simple is the study how people and society scare scare the resources that could have alternatives and uses in order to produce various commodities see these are the various commodities whatever the resources are uh, alternative how uh, they are available uh, that could have alternative use in order to produce various commodities and to distribute them in consumption now in or in future in the future also this uh, whatever the commodities are there that will be produces okay and this employ scarce resources and that will be produces various commodities and distribute them for the consumption so this is nothing but the economics so once again i will repeat repeat this economics economics is the study of how people and society choose to employ scarce resources that could have alternative to produce various commodities and distribute them for the consumption now or in the future so friends this is the economics now we we'll go for the engineering economics so what is engineering economics is the application of economics principle okay our uh, one more i want to clear for regarding plus economics is the social science this is nothing but the social science with the study of how people are allocate this care resource or distribute for production distribution and consumption of goods and services both individually and collectively on national level and international level also we can see the economics comparison of the economics based on national level international level that is gdp also we can consider as the economics uh, how the that nation is developing 
that also compare the two nations this is the under the economics so now we will go for the definition of the engineering economics is the engineering economics is the application of the economic principles in engineering various engineering problems for example if you can compare the comparative cost of the two alternative capital projects two projects are there two industries projects are there capital projects and their cost you can also compare this is the nothing but the like simple example of the this economics to determine the optimum engineering course from the cost of uh, cost aspects that also come under the example for the engineering economics now what is engineering economy is the study of feasibility and evaluation of the cost of possible solutions to engineering problems when benefits outweigh or more significant cost the alternative becomes acceptable one there is a few alternatives are there so that feasible solution or evaluation of the cost uh, cost is the basis for this engineering economy so friends there are seven principles of the engineering economy so that we'll see here what are those principles make a list of alternative plan a plan b and friend here what will happen this uh, what different what different solutions are there available what different solution among these alternatives that we have to see this is the second step in third step what will happen the be clear what you want what you want that must be clear to you and meet all relevant criteria develop the common performance measure for this one what you want and meet all the relevant criteria fifth step six is the risk against the projected rewards and seven is the check the results of action plan and issue plan if when necessary dear friends for engineering process every engineer has to offer economical solution to do the so engineer has to apply economics in the industry or enterprise they must have to know the knowledge of cost accounting production cost concepts accounting or ledger or profit and loss account or financial statement or balance sheet or break even analysis the techniques for evaluation of capital investment and method of depreciation this all you can watch in different videos and update your knowledge related to engineering economy so dear friends if you are not subscribed my channel please subscribe and thank you very much